creating editable tables where users can see and edit only their own data. Now we've covered uh, most of the logic that we needed for creating editable tables, but I would like to show you one more case. Uh, many users, many of our users asked me that if it's possible with WP data tables to create a single table where uh, different users would be able to edit rows, add new rows, and it will be stored in one parent table, but they wouldn't interfere within each other. So, for example, user A wouldn't be able to see rows from user B, and user B wouldn't be able to edit anything in user A rows. And it uh, wasn't possible out of the box. We made several customizations like this for our, for our clients, and uh, since it was so popular, we of course added this to be a feature of WP data tables. Um, so, whenever you need a table where, for example, it's a table of orders or some um, comments from some users or something different, where you as an admin want to see and edit everything, but your users uh, can see and edit only rows that are related to them, you can use this WP data tables feature. I will show you how it works. Basically, you can create such a table completely from uh, WordPress backend without any need to previously create something on MySQL site. You can also create first on MySQL site and then use this feature. So let's go through this uh, without hurry. First, we need to create a table. I will use uh, WP data tables table constructor and create a, create a dummy table. So table where users edit their own rows. Let's leave four columns. Let's say uh, product and it's going to be a one line select box and say product one, product two, product three. And next one, let's say comment and leave it as one line string and say date and set it as a date. And the last one, and this is the most important in this case. This should be a uh, user ID and this should be an integer. So uh, main difference between usual editable tables and editable tables where users can see and edit only their own rows is that this uh, custom uh, case should always have a user ID and user ID should be an integer. So we are done with table constructor. We can create the table and open in editor. And for now, it's just a simple editable table. We can enter some value for user one, some comment, some date, let's say today. Okay. So uh, for now, it's nothing special, a simple editable table. Uh, but to make, uh, to make a table where users can see and edit only their own rows, we need to define a couple of settings more. So we need to go to the table settings. Say that the table is editable from the front end because our users will be editing the table from the front end, apparently not from the back end. Uh, it already has defined the ID fall column for editing. And then we need to tick this checkbox. So that's what it's about. Users see and edit only their data. Limit editing to users' own data only. So that's what I was talking about. This will allow users to see and edit only their own rows. And then we need to define which column is be, will be used as a user ID column. And we previously created this and it's called user ID. Basically, that's it. We need to save. So the table saved and I guess it also makes sense to hide the user ID so it wouldn't be shown in the table 
and save again. And then we can insert this table in some page. So I will create a new one. And let's say my orders. And we need to locate this button here, insert the WP data table and uh, find the table that we just created, table where users edit their own roles. It inserts the short code, we just need to publish. Once it's published, we can go to front end. Okay, and we see only this one, this uh, here, because I have ID one and I enter the row where user ID was equal to one. That's why I can see this row. And when I enter new rows, I don't see the user ID input here. I can choose one of the columns. I can enter some comment again. I can enter the date and it will be saved and I will see this column, uh, sorry, this row here because uh, it also was added with my user ID. But if we open the same page in a different browser, so I will open a new browser and I will browse to this page here. You see that the table is still editable, but I don't see anything. It shows that there is zero entries and there is no data available in the table. I can again enter something here and choose something, blah, blah, blah. Click OK. And uh, it enters these values here, but uh, I see only my own rows. And actually, I'm logged out right now. So, logged out users can also edit this table and enter data here just that they, all of the logged out users have user ID equal to zero so all logged out users will be treated as one user and all logged in user would have personalized rows you can forbid editing for logged out users uh, by opening the table settings once again and choosing some uh, user roles that are allowed to edit the table so we go to edit here and we s need to select roles. So let's say only these roles can edit, nobody else. Save it and when I reload it in a different browser when I'm logged out, where I'm logged out, the table is not editable anymore, but I still see the entry for this user. So that's it. Uh, it's pretty simple, but it gives at the same time our users a lot of flexibility. I already had uh, good feedback about this feature. So try to play around and maybe it will uh, be useful for you as well. Uh, thanks for watching and see you next tutorials. WP Data Tables the easiest way to render interactive editable tables on your WordPress site. Purchase WP Data Tables exclusively on Code Canyon.